Hello and welcome to Infinity. We've talked about using the adjustments and the mask that is built into every single one of them when you use the live versions. And now we're going to show just how to use that. And you can paint in the effect rather than have the whole thing change, just a bit of it. So let's, for example, take this picture here. And it's, there's a little bit of haze on it. Maybe we could increase the contrast. So what we'll do is just simply go to the adjustments here and go to brightness and contrast. I'm going to turn up the contrast. And if you, you turn it up, it's like, well, it's a bit overdone, but there are bits of the picture that would like it. So if you turn up to here, for example, the river might be better with that bit more of that, but the rest are the parts here which are kind of like overdone. So what we do is I take like this, got this layer selected, and I just say layer and invert. And it doesn't invert the contrast in any way. What it does is invert the mask. So the mask starts off, it defaults to white, which means you can show everything. So when I click on this invert here, it turns it to black, which means it stops everything coming through. So I get back to the original picture. Now then, what I want to do here then is to bring it back. And the way I do that is I paint white on the mask. So all I do is I go to the paintbrush here. I go up here and select white. And then I select my opacity and hardness here. So I want a fairly soft brush for this. And opacity, you can have it at any level. It's often best to have it fairly low because you can then sort of paint in multiple strokes. For the river though, I'm going to turn this up quite a bit. So I'm going to turn this up to about 80 and then we'll see what we do with this. So I increase the size of the brush here. I'm going to paint on here and you see it's the darkness is coming back. And also I'm just going to overlap the edges of this for now. If I paint again, I get a bit more because I was 80% already, then it's going to affect that. There's a little bit up there. I could put that in as well. But now I've overlapped the edges. But that's OK because I simply switched to black. And I'm going to use a harder brush this time. So I'm going to turn this up so that I can really sort of snip off the edges. It's often a good way to do this. If, by the way, you've lost the brush here, just right click and it'll come back. And now I can sort of paint away that effect which was around here around the edges there. So I'm getting it just on, so any of that overspill I can just paint off. So I take it down carefully to the edges of the river and then I can paint in the contrast there more in the way that I want it. There we go. And if I've sort of like nudged it I can now switch it back again. So I go back to the white one there. I think I nudged a little bit into the river there, so I'll just go along the edge of that. So already, if I go before and after, you can see the effects there. You're also doing that, I can see where there's bits where I need to clean that up even more. So there's a bit around the edge there, there was bits around here and so on. So I can, and also what you can do is, if you alt click on the adjustment there, you can see, see that's, so I can paint directly onto this. No, 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 that was the end of the river, wasn't it? Yes, that's okay. But you can see the way I painted here. It looks rather odd here, but when you come back down here, it's okay. There, you see that bit up there. I've just gone round it, so I just need to paint. Um, it was black again, wasn't it, to But it, no, no, see, it was looking like I'm going to paint black here. That's because I got it on the this layer here. I need to go up to the mask. Now when I paint black it'll remove the effect. So I've just got it in the river there. But now what I can do is I can just say well let's turn the hardness right down so it's very soft. Turn the opacity down here to say let's try 20%. Make the brush a bit bigger and on here I'm going to paint white. You can see under the brush the effect it's going to have so you should be able to see just a little bit of change. So every time you paint it, 
you're painting more of the effect in. So you can sort of brush stroke bits. So let's put a bit more contrast into here, but not so much as in the river. It's a little bit in here just to give this a little bit more colour. And I'm going to go up to the back here and I'm going to turn this up to maybe around 50% around or so and then just paint across there just get out a little bit more into that distance there and so on you can literally go around the place changing the opacity as you need to or the hardness and painting in these just to get a bit more contrast but not overdoing different parts of the image that need it differently so here we go there's before and there's after before and after I can continue working on that, tidying it up, but I hope you get the effect. And you can do this with any adjustment, so painting in what you want. You set it to the strongest version you want, and then paint away and paint in and so on, just by painting black and white on the mask layer, on the adjustment layer. That's it, and thank you very much for watching.